It's been a typically scorching week on the beaches of southeastern Florida, but Wednesday saw the clouds threaten overhead as the second day of quarterfinals at the Miami Open got underway. Two semi-finalists are already accounted for after a thrilling first round of last eight ties, and two of the biggest names remaining were looking to join them. One a champion last time out at Indian Wells, the other victorious at the year's only Grand Slam so far. Following her triumph in California, Victoria Azarenka is the form player on the WTA Tour. In her way, though, was one of the year's rising stars in the shape of British number one Johanna Konta. The better Russian had made it clear she wouldn't take anything for granted against the much improved Konta and was looking up for it. But Konta is enjoying her tennis at the moment following a run to the Australian Open semis and showed she's more than capable of a bit of magic. That's a beauty! It would be the Briton who would blink first, however. A double fault gifting Azarenka a break in Game 7. Oh, Game, I think. Yeah. Well, there it is. She had been so proficient New for so space. long, but Azarenka determined to make Azarenka inroads. And although Conta refused to lie down, another mistake handed Azarenka the first set, and the world number eight was on track for a third Miami semi-final. The second was all Azarenka, as Conta's challenge faded. And I told you she would go down the line again with a backhand. <laughs> a straight sets win for the 13th seed, ensuring she'll move up to number five in the world. She got it. I'm very happy with my improvement. Um, the ranking is um, something that um, is, is a bonus, I think, that comes with it. And uh, I'm only interested in one number. So uh, top five is a, good pro is a good progress, but I'm looking forward to improve. As the sun set, the battle to face Azarenka began. After early exits at her two tournaments since winning the Australian Open in January, Angelique Kerber has picked up some much needed momentum over the last week. The same can be said for her opponent, Madison Keys, who also fell at the first hurdle in Indian Wells. The American fired 41 winners in her third round upset of nine seed Roberta Vinci and flaunted her powerful forehand as she broke to love early on. Oh, terrific stuff. Once again, a blistering forehand. Keys never really had to move from her position in the center oh, of the court. What a hit on that shot. But Kerber wasted no time in pulling her way back. Some brilliant court coverage bringing the set back on serve. As Keys' unforced error count grew, the second seed took control. Again, ball kicking up shoulder high for Kerber. She's able to generate enough to give Keys a problem. The opener comfortably wrapped up 6-3. Kerber was taken to three sets in each of her last two encounters this week. And looks determined to be more clinical this time around. She made it six games in a row to secure a double break. That's just magnificent stuff, starting with the high return almost above her head. Keys did her best to swing the pendulum back her way. But Kerber's defense was as sharp as her attack. Oh, what a defense! Well, <laughs> you can't blame Keys this time. You can't, but you're almost holding your breath every time she has to hit an extra shot. With a little over an hour on the clock, the German secured her third semi-final berth of the year. I'm really happy about the game I played tonight. I knew before that I must play really good tennis to beat her because in the past we had really tough battles. So um, yeah, I was focusing on my game and uh, yeah, it works tonight. So I'm happy to be in the semis for my first time. Somewhat of an unexpected semi-final clash sees Serena Williams conquer Svetlana Kuznetsova take on the rampaging Tamir Bakshinsky. While the mouth-watering clash between Victoria Azarenka and Angelique Kerber promises to offer plenty of entertainment on the penultimate day in Miami.